channel thank you for tuning in subscribe and share as much as you can uh, please take your vitamin c vitamin d very important and your zinc tablet okay extremely important and yes i don't get paid but uh tonic water okay it's got quantin hydroxychloroquine you never know okay uh just take it and you know <laughs> if it helps it helps. if it doesn't just do your own research but anyways um normally about 10 days to a week before the elections i may do another one depending um i, I usually do a a a virtual map what i think it's my opinion it's not a, a a science or anything like that but what i've been reading uh what i've been researching it's my own opinion um, i didn't call anybody i didn't whatever uh this is what i'm you know talking to people in some various states like florida um you know even in california new york some of my friends there uh, even Michigan, uh, I talk to people there. Anyways, I have my own my own way, just like the polls. You know, they were all wrong in 2016. I think I came out maybe 10 or or 15 uh, electoral votes shy from uh, uh, getting the, the the right amount. But anyway, nothing's perfect in this world. But I did predict that Donald Trump was going to win the election, and and the electoral and the and the electoral college vote. Okay, so let's just go over each one over here. I mean, as it stands out right now, what I think, uh, plus or minus a few points, obviously, uh, it looks like Biden has for sure 236 electoral college vote, and Donald Trump has 147 electoral college vote, just for now, and then we'll go over some of the details, and you'll see how the number uh, will rise slowly, red up, up, up. Um, and what I think, which which is going to be the toss-up, which won't be the toss-up, which are ahead, and which are the fake polls out there. Okay? Uh, all you need is about 270. Uh, if you guys can go here, 270. Uh, it will take 270 electoral, uh, electoral vote, college votes, whatever, uh, to win the, 200, uh, the, uh, the 2020 presidential election. And um, look, at, I don't, I'm not going to waste any time here. Okay, um, Okay. let's go to Florida. It seems like Florida, uh, Donald Trump is uh, neck and neck. Uh, I mean, other polls are saying otherwise, but the Trafalgar uh, uh, has Donald Trump ahead about a one, a one and a half points ahead. And uh, it looks like, hold on a minute. Hold on, uh, let me see. I had... This is the guy. Hold on. Yeah, this is Florida. Uh, yeah, Trump for, uh, forty-eight point four. Okay, uh, to forty-six right now. As it stands, is the Trafalgar Group. Uh, they're pretty good actually. They predicted uh, um, with almost precision that they were gonna uh, President Trump was gonna win. So so far, he's the best pollster, and because um, he takes into effect also the secret Trump voter. Okay. So let's uh look at let's put Florida right away. Red. Okay. And you see it's 171 already. Um also Georgia. Okay. Uh he has it uh quite a quite ahead by the way. Uh 49 almost 50% and the momentum is Donald Trump. So let's Put Donald Trump there. Red, red, red. These are all red. Okay. So we're already at 205 already. And Joe Biden is still at 241. It's going to be close. I'm telling you right now. It's going to be very, very, very close. Okay. Um, Arizona. Um, most people have Arizona blue. Um, I have a neutral. That's a toss-up. Personally, but according to Trafalgar, uh, let me see. I know I didn't take all of them. Minnesota, Carolina, Ohio, um, Arizona. Yep, he's got Arizona. Donald Trump, momentum Donald Trump. So let's put Arizona. Red. Um, okay, North Carolina. For sure, that's going red. Okay, South Carolina, for some reason, 
uh, it's the opposite around, okay? Okay, so we're already at 203 to 269. Okay, so let me see. Um, okay, let's go to Pennsylvania. Okay, Pennsylvania, it's 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 a little tricky, but it seems with the, uh, uh, you know, uh, his gaffe, that uh, uh, Biden's gaffe concerning the, the oil and the fracking and all, uh, it seems like Pennsylvania, I think, will turn, um, will turn red. Okay, right there. Ohio will turn red. Okay, so right there, we're at 223. Okay. And this is no way. <laughs> this is going to be turning red. They have it in blue. They have also, here we go, this Kentucky. Uh, it's going to be red. Now, the reason why I say Pennsylvania will be red is because of what he said in the debate. It was a close race. Maybe one, one and a half behind Donald Trump. But uh, I think a lot of people saw through that and they said, oh boy, um, it's impossible. So we're, uh, it's, it's all about the fracking. I mean, you know, over 150,000 jobs will be lost uh, if Joe Biden uh, gets elected. Uh, Michigan is going red. Okay, Michigan will be going red. Let me see. Uh, yeah. It's it's the momentum Donald Trump. I mean, it's gonna be close, but uh, it looks like Michigan people are telling me that they're uh, watching uh, a lot of the um, uh, people out there and they're talking about Donald Trump. Um, um, well, I have family members there, and 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 a lot of them are saying they're going to be voting for Trump. So, like I said, if it's if it's a tie or almost a tie or he's a bit ahead, that means he's a lot ahead. Okay, so let's just do that. Okay. Hold on. And, okay. Now, uh, Oklahoma. Kansas. Okay. That's all going red right now. So we're at 270 already. Uh, technically, if I... I mean, because... Uh, also, Ohio. Very important. I mean, I don't think a president ever won without Ohio, who's Republican. So that's why I'm also going Ohio, and he's way ahead of the polls there. Um, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Also very, very, very important. You got Nevada. Uh, I think Nevada is going red. And Minnesota. It's, a, it's really a toss-up in Minnesota. Um, seems like Biden. It's going to be close. It's going to be very, very, very close. Um, Minnesota. <laughs> okay, let's. We're going to turn slightly blue. Okay, so so far this is what we have: two seventy-six. Technically, Donald Trump, two sixty-one. Um, okay, well, that's New England for sure. That's going blue. Uh, let me see. Did I forget anything? Uh, oh yeah. Let me see. Wisconsin. Okay. Okay. Biden. It's a tie. The reason why I hesitate because anything that's a tie or more or less a tie, usually it's Trump's momentum. So, uh, we'll see. But like I said, I, I, I gotta be, you know, truthful. Um, what I think what I think it's happening. Well, so far, I mean, if you're taking Florida, uh, if you're taking Pennsylvania, Michigan will go red. We're looking at around 276. I know you guys wanted a higher number to 262. Um, and this is where the fight's going to be. It's going to be the, the Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan. Um, well, they're saying Minnesota can go, can go red. I, I just don't see it. I, I, I don't know. Uh, very, very, very tough. 
I just don't really see it. And then you got Virginia. Um, I got maybe West Virginia going red. Okay. So you're at two, uh, 281. Um, as it stands out, I would, I would think this is probably more realistic. Okay. Some people say it's a landslide and this. Okay, fine, whatever. They're allowed. Um, we're looking at a 281 Donald Trump Electoral College vote, which technically wins, to 257 Electoral College vote uh, for uh, the Vice President uh, Biden. Like I said, anything can happen then. I This is my polling, my own, my own opinion. Um, you know, people are saying also Illinois, uh, you know, Illinois can definitely, can, can go, can go either way. Um, uh, but, uh, I'm going to stick to this, uh, 281, uh, electoral college, uh, vote. And the reason is because I, I feel like, uh, Florida and Texas and some of the major one, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Oklahoma, um, so, some of the uh, Arizona, uh, they're going to be, they're going to be red and some of these other states are, are going to be blue. So this is the, the red wave they call it, or, or I don't think this looks like a blue wave to me. Um, anyways, my name is Samuel Izerza for the SE channel. Um, like I said, uh, if, if you want to take a look at some, I'm just going after this guy Polster, this, uh, the, the Trafalgar, uh, group, um, Wisconsin. Uh, Biden ahead, Michigan, it's a virtual tie practically, uh, and I gave Trump momentum, Arizona, way ahead, Donald Trump, Ohio, way ahead, he's got to win Ohio, that's the tradition, you know, for a Republican to win, he's got to win Ohio, um, and he's winning, North Carolina, pulling ahead, uh, Minnesota, look, it's, it's a virtual tie, that's, it's, Still Donald Trump momentum. We'll see. I, I might change that. Georgia is going. Uh, let me see. Okay, here we go. Florida. Yeah, Louisiana. Well, we all know that. Biden. Well, that's what they have. But I think I think he screwed up on that. This was like, I think they did it like a couple weeks ago. Um, anyways, my name is Sam for the SE channel. Please uh, subscribe, uh, share as much as you can. Again, please take your vitamin C, vitamin D, and your uh, zinc tablet. Uh, it's going to be a close race, but uh, I think this this looks more realistic. Uh, let me know how you feel. Uh, take tabs. Or, uh, uh, this is a, a, a Donald Trump. Uh, not a landslide, but this is what I... I unless... Illinois goes red, then, you know, but I, I, I don't know, uh, I don't, I don't see it, uh, I just don't see it, okay, this is it, take care, God bless, man, let me know how you feel.